This is a simple house being built in the rural area, western part of Kenya. It's a two-bedroomed house. The walls are already up and the owner has gone for a break. We want to see how this house looks like. This is now the front side of the house. And this is going to be the veranda. And the front door. As we get inside, we will see the slab is not done yet. He is going to do the slabs later on. He did the foundation and then did the walling. And the slabs will be done later on. We are now in the living room area. We want to go around and see how the living room area looks like. There are going to be two windows on the sides. There is another window on this other side. And the front door inside the house. As we go around, we can see another door which will be going to the bedroom area. But before we go there, let's go around and see what is happening on this other side. This is the dining area. It's a nice small house. The walls are done with bricks. And this is going to be the dining area. That's an arch going to the kitchen. An arch going to the kitchen. Then we get round and there is one window on the dining area. So when you are inside the dining area, you can see the living room, that other side. This soil is going to be removed and the slab is going to be done later on. Then we want to get to the bedroom area. That's the door going to the bedroom area. It's only a two-bedroomed house. Between the two-bedroom area, there is a washroom. This is the master bedroom. There is one window. Then the other side, we can see the other small bedroom. But before we get there, let us see the bathroom area. In between, there is a bathroom or a washroom area. This is the washroom area, which is going to be shared between the two bedrooms. And then there is this other small bedroom with one window. That's a window in this bedroom. The owner's now gone for a break and when he comes back, he will be doing the Linton area. That's the door again going to the master bedroom and the washroom area. Then there is this space where it connects to the living room, the dining the other side, and this side is now the kitchen. Let us now go to the kitchen and see how it looks like. This is now the kitchen. That's an arch going to the dining area. It has one window. This is going to be a window. And then there is going to be a door 
somewhere there. It also has a back veranda. This is the back veranda. The veranda is not done. He's going to do it later on. And this is how the interior of the house looks like. We now want to go and see the exterior of the house, how it looks like. This is the door now going outside on the front side. Now this is the exterior part of the house. The front side, the veranda, it's not done. And we will just go around and see the other side. That's a window to the living room, one of the windows. And this is the right side of the house. This is now the right side of the exterior part of the house. When the fundi was setting this house, he wanted a measurement of 22 by 30, but he couldn't get that measurement because of the fence just beside the house. So he ended up with a measurement of 22 by 28. These are the two windows on the living area. And there is also another one window on the dining area. Building such a type of a house will depend with the topography of the land. It also depends with the soil. We now want to get to the back of the house. This is the fence which made the fundi not to get the measurement of 22 by 30. We are now at the back of the house. I was asking the fundi, how much has it cost you to this point? He told me it has cost him 270,000, that is Kenyan shillings, up to this point, and that one includes the labor. This is now the back side of the house, the veranda, and the door going to the kitchen. That's a window going to the kid's bedroom. And this is a house that he is living at the moment. He started with the mud house. This is a mud house that he started with, and he is now doing a brick house. Very simple and very nice. Sooner or later, it will be over. That's the backside once again. And these are the bricks that are left over, but is going to add some more to do the linton. And this is now the compound. Mm, the harvesting beans. It's harvesting time, and people are now harvesting beans in the rural area. I was looking at the walls. They look strong, and they look nice. I will be following this house step by step to see what the fundi will be doing and see how it is going to end. Thank you, my beautiful viewers, for being with me. Thank you for your time. And let's meet on my next video.